make me wanna throw my picture out the window. Tell Gypsy I to cut the phone poles, break my lease so I can move. Cause you a bugaboo, a bugaboo. I wanna put your number on the call block. F A O L, make my email stop. Cause you a bugaboo, you bugging what you bugging, who you bugging me. Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys my outfit for today. Obviously, these are my slippers. I actually, need to put my coat on. Okay, um, I wore this because I was a bit skeptical at first, actually, because of the nude. But I think nude and grey go well, and it, it it just kept me warm. And in this life, you need to be warm. But I actually need to give you guys an update. Update you guys on the week ahead. Next week, Sunday, is the ball and um my o poly dress is in a post locker because i've ordered the organza i don't think i've actually explained what i'm doing let me do this. sometimes i just film and i forget that i've not said things because i say it in my head basically i have a i bought a black dress from o poly which i'll insert here and i bought organza to hem around the hem mm? to sew around the hem um and also bought black gloves and then i also bought a headband and i'm gonna put organza on both of them the reason i'm doing this is because i really want to use this opportunity to like enhance my sewing skills even though it's not anything i've done myself like i've not made the dress myself whatever but at the end of the day like i feel like adding things to clothes is like the first step and it's just an idea that came into my head i was like oh my gosh i have to do this and um, the other thing that i've been doing i'm i've been showing you guys some clips i believe is also i'm styling for the ball and when is the shopping day is this week we're shopping this week and i've made it like a presentation mood board um of what the vibe is and i really hope it goes to plan as well i'm just thinking about this week and i'm thinking about how stressed i'm gonna be because the same day of the ball i'm gonna be in london and i'm gonna come back for the ball okay basically this is her this is her so it's a mini dress and there's different mini dresses um there's also this corset this is more so like how the opoly thing came basically i ordered a you guys saw in the picture it's a mini dress um it's like a corset mini dress gloves i want to do like i think my gloves are satin but when they come i'll see them i really hope that they're of okay quality at least because they were like five pound from amazon so i don't know if that's good i want to wear jewelry on top but i want it to be silver um i might need to buy more silver mm, i might not actually i think i have enough um so yeah it was either going to be that or like this lace but i couldn't find anything nice i also put this because this is scary i don't actually really like this but i had the idea of still adding some diamantes but i don't know where it might be on the, the sleeve or it might be on the headband or i don't know um this is just a picture just to showcase the organza but it's not gonna look like this because i think this is quite ugly <laughs> um this is a headband like how the how i want the organza to be obviously about the polka dots if it makes sense guys i hope it does i hope it does um i have a bob wig at home this is why I put this because this is so cool. I have a bob wig at home and it's black and I really want to do skunk scribes. When I go to London um, this week, this week, um, I'm going to attempt to put a stripe of blonde in my hair and I might video it, you know, if it goes well. So the vibe is that. And then this is the styling uh, presentation that I made. It's a bit intimate. Um, yes, so these, these are just some ideas. Color scheme I had. Um, that he also wanted this is just the classic suit and tie um so this is the first option i'd say i just put down places where you can buy things for example within the budget the no tie look which is personally one of my fave um yep title next also a second fave might even be the first fave um these are amazing like look at these amazing black men showing us how to dress you know um i think they're all really good and um, there's also the sweater vest. Um, I feel like a select person can pull this off. But I feel like it's one of those things you have to try um, to see because it's not for everyone. Um, waistcoats, I think I'm a really big fan of waistcoats as well. Uh, yep, bow tie option, shoes, colour combo ideas, and that's it. It's my first like proper styling thing. So um, yeah, I believe it will go well. And I also believe it's going to be fun. But yeah, also the, the designing, I'm just going to update you guys throughout the week. As I said, it's Sunday. So throughout the week, I'll update you guys with when my orders come in. 
and um, how I use them. Guys, it's my old cosplay parcel. Let's go home and try it on. Um, this is the old poly dress. It's not as structured as I would have liked it to be with the ruching. It's a bit all over the place. Yeah, so the plan is to add the organza around the hem, um, which still hasn't come in the post. Hey guys, so um, mm -hmm. I've just come back from uni and I'm about to try on some dresses. I'm going to change this one. The organza's come, the headbands come, the gloves have come. The whole delivery story behind that is another thing because that was so stressful. It's currently Wednesday. Um, I'm going home to London on Friday. I have to, tonight and tomorrow night because I don't have time during the day, the day tomorrow to do everything. Basically, I ordered two new dresses. I know, not one, but two. And I did it because I wasn't fully satisfied with the old poly dress. Like, how, I spent £38 on that dress. I was upset. Like, I mean, it was good, but like, it just wasn't giving the way it should have. I did next day delivery from Boohoo for two new dresses. Was, was that wise? No, but I'm gonna return one of them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna return one of them, but I just, I was impulse. I was like, I need something. Okay. Hi guys. So this is one of the dresses that I ordered. Um, i really like this i'm so surprised for boohoo like genuinely i'm so surprised so it's got a knot detail here um which is really pretty as well i was even thinking of taking a size down size six because i have been losing weight a lot and i just thought it'd end up flimsy and like the way that they make size eights these days i just feel like they make it for thick girls and i'm like okay well, i can't fit in that anymore but then when i wear a size six it's tight so i just don't know but it fits perfectly so i'm actually gonna put on the gloves so that you guys can see storage is telling me full so i can't even talk that much the only thing is that they're shiny which i didn't want i wanted it to be matte because it's not yeah and i wish it was a bit more like fitted but i'll just continue to pull it up i can still add the ruffles at the bottom i think it would be really nice to have a like a big ruffle the only thing is that i planned on wearing sock boots guys but i can't wear sock boots with this dress because it's too long so i don't know what to do um because i don't have my toes done so. <laughs> so this dress i bought as a backup because i was scared of what would happen and if the dress thing would work out and obviously you guys know that i wanted ruffles um so that's why i bought this i want you guys to see what i'm talking about when i say like size eights are so different this is a size eight and it's actually loose a little bit on me whereas that one was fitting perfectly so i really do like this but i'm so like i'm so stuck on making sure that i actually do sew something if i wear this i won't obviously do any sewing which is just not the point and why would you even be watching this video if i'm not sewing so it's 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 gonna be returned um is it Hey guys, um, I just woke up from a nap. I have a 9am in the morning, which I'm going to. I'm most definitely going to this 9am actually, but I'm also going to begin the making of this dress. Up. guys but um i've just sewed this part together just so that they're together but i'm gonna cut this excess off what i've done is i've done both sides and one edge and the video that i watched oh i need to cut that thread um she oh i just watched videos on nigerian ladies so this is the only opening you have and you sew it until like there's just a little bit of an open then you turn it inside out but obviously i need to cut around here imagine if this fails <laughs> i've just been thinking about this this whole time that i've been sewing imagine if it fails like what would you guys actually be watching this for you know like it would actually be quite interesting to see it's just so delicate it's a bit hard to even I should even be less rough. Maybe. 
Inside out we go. Oh wait, is this inside out? There we have it guys. I really hope this is long enough. Oh wait, there's actually more. Oh wait. Oh good. Okay. Cool. Super cool, dude. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I broke it. No fucking way. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. No, I did. But guys, it's just so delicate. I broke that. But you know what? I believe that I will be fine. Guys, let me just inform you as to where we are at. The ruffle is just not gonna go around my dress because, as you can see, she's a little small so i just decided to put this around the dress and it went around one quarter of the dress so therefore we know that this is wrong as i said it's 3 a.m i'm going to bed personally um i know that i don't have as much time tomorrow but i've decided that i'm going to do everything tomorrow um because now that i've kind of got the hang of it and it took me like an hour or less i think i can do it because i know exactly how much i do have the gloves I don't know if it's, it's probably a bit too big. Yeah, no, this is too big for the glove. Um, I'm going to bed. So, I set my alarm for 6.30. I went to bed at 4 a.m. The alarm went off. I ignored it. And I ignored all of the alarms. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm currently shopping with my friend Sam for the pool. Um, this is what I currently have so far. I'm just looking at some turtlenecks for him because I feel like that would really suit him. He's currently in the changing room um, with a suit and a waistcoat. So I'm just going to see how that works out. Uh, but I'm definitely feeling the turtleneck vibe. Uh, 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 uh. Why is this in the men's section? This is for me now. Guys, if I don't just go and buy this right now, if I don't just grab it. What? Hey guys, this is the best angle I can get without my trousers because I'm tired. But <laughs> it's past 12 next day. Um, you're probably wondering why I didn't update you. But um, we've done the raffle for the dress and I think it's now kind of big. So um, I'm gonna have to cut some off. But it was a struggle. Got it caught in the sewing machine sometimes. If you got there in the end. flat i was so scared it wasn't gonna come but um now i have something to wear tomorrow for the ball so it's really good that's not roasting but then who knew that little store market would grow into a little unit and from the unit it grew into a physical store on shoulder high street from the physical store on shoulder high street bigger into a global online brand to a global online brand to you know so it's it's literally starting small and being committed at your small stage and then that same commitment being consistent with that and you will grow that cross nipping at your nose so i'm offering <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to holler at me. Who's your best dress? 